Hello. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well on this beautiful Monday. We're going to begin with a Taurus reading, and the request was for the the purple <laughs> the purple card deck, and so I shall. Taurus, with the purple card deck. You got it. Love you guys. Thank you for all the people who are interested in a personal reading from me. Um, you know that um, I say phone, but when you go to my Instagram, I click on the um, the video so that you can see and work with the cards and me as we have that reading. So the um, few appointments I have left are in the evening. So um, Central Time, five, six, seven o'clock p.m. Okay, Taurus. And we're going to keep it at the introductory rate of 30 bucks, just because <laughs> I care about you guys. Okay, Taurus, got you. Taurus, mine. Taurus, please come through. Come on. Here we go. Ah, the world card. How beautiful. Something is, uh, has closed and something is beginning. Perhaps there's some travel going on here. Someone is experiencing some accomplishment. Three of Cups. Time to celebrate friendship. And Four of Pentacles. Someone's keeping their thoughts and emotions close to their heart. Can you guys see the cards? It's important for me that you read these with me. Three or four of cups. Meditation. Re-evaluation. Uh, being offered even something more, but saying, I'm not sure that I need more because I've seen life in a new perspective with the hangman. Letting go of some preconceived ideas. And it's about time because we have this appreciation, anticipation, looking forward to something. Looking forward to a ship coming in. Expansion of awareness. Let's do go on. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Self-sufficiency. Sustainability. An attitude of gratitude. Oh, one of my favorite cards, Four of Swords, recuperation, recuperation, recalling your energy, recharging those batteries. Thank you for that confirmation. And the Seven of Swords, getting away with something. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to, <laughs> trying to see if you're still paying attention, dear Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower in reverse. Someone, we're, we're avoiding a calamity. We're avoiding something. We're stepping out of the way. We see um, like a train coming towards us. And it's like, nope, 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 nope. Let's, let's avoid this. Um, it's also a recognition of, I've been here before. I know how to avoid something that is painful. You know, there are no bad or negative tarot cards. This is all in the reading, right? Reading of the energy. Let's go into some clarification though, okay? Please, Taurus. Please, spirit guides and beloved divine universe. Let's talk about the world. We have justice, fairness, truth. Something has ended and now fairness. That great Libra energy of justice coming through. Eight of Cups, but this is interesting. It's in reverse. Walking away from something. Walking away from what? Walking away from a situation um, that kept this person, as we see in the middle of... They, it, this situation kept a person... Holding on, um, hanging on to hope. Um, why? Why? Because they felt the Gemini energy of the lover's card. 
This energy is what they've been waiting for. My world is opening up. I'm walking away from those things that held me. And now, especially with justice here, they're about, they're about to let go of something that was not helping them, not in their best interest. It's going to be time to celebrate. We do need clarification. The devil in reverse, Capricorn energy, breaking free, power reclaimed, reclaimed, breaking free, power reclaimed, taming that devil so that we can go forward with the Ten of Cups, harmony, marriage, happiness, alignment. Now, I want to remind you, this is the energy of the cards. This is my reading, the energy of the cards. I'm going to ask you what you are doing to bring forth this connection. Are you manifesting? Are you keeping your energy recharged? Are you taking good care of yourself? These things are possibilities for the future. These are timeless readings too. So this may not be tomorrow. You could be being prepared for this. But no doubt, the energy of these cards here show that someone realizes they had to get out of a bad situation, let go of bad habits, and come towards their Ten of Cups, which is this Gemini love interest. The, the King of Swords. Clear thinking. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. I can see all the what obstacles that were in my way. And the Queen of Wands, warmth, vibrancy, determination. She is the grand manifester, her and her beauty. Don't get it twisted, though, because she is very direct. She says exactly what she means. So that's almost in contrast to the Four of Pentacles, where someone is keeping their thoughts and my, their emotions to themselves. Okay, so that's a pull me poem type. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Paying attention to the details. So Four of Pentacles doubled as Eight of Pentacles to our friend, the Five of Cups. Someone has been in preparation mode, practicing what they're going to say to you. Their Two of Cups, their divine love. They know that this is the Six of Wands energy, public recognition of victory, progress, self-confidence. I love this. This is feeling of stepping into their power, but that is not something that happens overnight. No, no, no. In fact, you wouldn't want to wish that on anyone to step into their power overnight. You might think that you went cray cray. You might think, well, why is this world when I wake up with my eyes open so different from when I put my myself to bed last night. It takes time to turn the Titanic around. We have the Four of Cups, meditation, contemplation, not wanting to jump into into something else. See, they, they got out of something, and now they know that your love is calling them forward. This is a divine connection. But they're still in the contemplative mode. You see, they're in that hangman. Okay, we have two cards here. Five of wands, but in the upright. In their mind, they're in a little bit of conflict. These go well together, these energies. They make sense. I'm contemplating, is this what I want? And then being up in their mind like, what is this that I feel? What is this that I feel? Why am I being pulled towards Taurus? Because they see you as the Empress. All things beautiful, nature, abundance, luxury. You see, but the, the, the Empress comes with her own gravitas. You don't just run up to the Empress and say, how you doing, Empress? You have to be um, invited. You have to have your your speech, a, some, a, a small gift, um, in order to come towards the Empress. The other pull that they feel towards you is this, the Six of Cups. This is cellular recognition. This is recognition at the cellular level. 
of the soul. I remember you. I see your name everywhere. I look for your face when I'm walking in the crowd. I miss you. My soul misses you. It's taken a long time. You know, the hang band isn't there for five minutes. It's taken a long time for them to come to their conclusions. Page of Wands, they have a lot they want to say to you. And uh, it's quite <laughs> enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, there's a bit of a discovery here, a free spirit. Um, a lot of flirtation. There is a lot of shoulda, woulda, coulda as well. So you have someone who has restricted their um, corporeal self in order to see something, uh, life, the world upside down in a new vision. And here it's almost like they're up in their mind, same as the Five of, of Swords, in that there's a conflict with, um, what did I do? Why did I wait so long? Why am I making Taurus wait? It's, I should have done this. I, I feel isolated. Um, I could have done this. It's almost this drama of self-imposed prison. Knight of Cups. Absolute romance. Sometimes they say knight in shining armor. Yeah, someone is dedicated, totally devoted to you. Lovely. And then we have this anticipation. Yeah, wonderful. The King of Wands. He is the leader. He has. He's the visionary, but also he is a bit of the ego. He knows he looks good. He knows you look good. And together, you two are going to be um, this power couple. This power couple. Right here. Six of Wands. Power couple. So, uh, community recognition of power. Three of Pentacles. How frequently has this shown up? Of course, teamwork. I want to also say um, a fulfillment of a um, like a project. A project is becoming, okay, this is fulfilled. My contract obligations are fulfilled. Um, quite frankly, you might be dealing with celebrities because I see contractual obligations of performance to the beautiful Ace of Cups. Love, compassion, overwhelming emotion, overwhelming. And when I say overwhelming, especially with all these cups here, I mean it is almost to the point of an embarrassment of riches with this love. There's a lot of emotion here, you guys. So the Ten of Pentacles. I wanted to also say with the Ten of Pentacles an attitude of gratitude to take a look at oh, from the Ten of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. To take a look around you and to be thankful for all that we have, all the blessings we do have. Nine of Pentacles, she's beautiful. She doesn't walk, she floats. She is uh, devoted to wish fulfillment, our comfort, happiness. She's the model of happiness. To the Seven of Pentacles, look at all these Taurian energies. To seven of Pentacles now. Someone has a vision. Someone has made this um, investment in their time, energy, hopes, wishes, dreams, and judgment, rebirth, inner calling. Yeah, especially this calling to come forward. You see Gabriel's blowing the horn and the people are outstretched. They're, they're standing with outstretched arms. Come pick me up. Our blessed four of wands, <laughs> I'm sorry, four of swords, so that we can relax recharge those batteries. Then we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Someone does feel this um, this need to connect. And when I say that they miss you um, and you miss them, it's natural because your souls call, call out to each other. The Queen of Swords and her truthfulness, very organized, a quick thinker, Fiercely independent, but you have to give her all the facts in order for her to make the judgment that is most appropriate to the Ten of Wands burden. So do you guys see this? You guys see this? It's the greatest love story ever told, which is anything but easy. 
there are so many layers to it. Like um, with peeling an onion, there's just another layer and another layer. Let You're going to be letting go of this burden, though. Both of you are. Both of you are. They've been in the hangman position. And then just to make sure you're still watching them. Why? Because they have the two of wands. There's... Uh, they've been planning for your future. The progress is in order. They want to hand you what? The world. See the world they want to hand you? It's beautiful. I'm going to wait for you. I'm just going to stand here until you, your shit comes in. Knight of Pentacles. They're, they're not fast. This is the slowest moving card in the tarot deck. Hello. The slowest moving card in the tarot deck, but they are not going to fall off their horse. They're not going to fall off... Um, or be deterred from bringing you that pentacle. Why? Because this is the star card. Hopes, wishes, and dreams are going to be fulfilled. Nine of Pentacles. Lover's card here. The, the world card here. The Ace of Cups. Hope, spirituality, renewal, inspiration. How beautiful. How beautiful. But there is something that we do need. I want to say... Yeah, we need more c communication, speed, action. Um, some may say even air travel. Swift change, communication. But informing the energy of this whole reading is the tower in reverse. Yeah, those things which no longer serve must be removed so that the new things can come forward. Taurus, what a beautiful reading. A little bit different, um, but you know what? I like that too. It means there is emotion in motion. Okay, love you guys. Take good care, all right? Okay, bye-bye.